to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, I am Sammy Jane and this is my YouTube channel, Idol Girl. I really hope you'll decide to stick around and hit that subscribe button. And maybe if you like the video, hit the like button too. Today's video is going to be a nail look that I have done on one of the Poochie's nails, Realistic Practice Hands. And if you would like to see a witch hand and what I'm actually going to do in this video, then just keep watching. So today's video is very exciting, it's a collaboration video with the beautiful Victoria from Nail Perfection. These are the nails that she has done in her video, please do go check her video out after this one, I will leave all the links in the description box down below. Victoria did my favourite colour pink and I did her favourite colour yellow, but we didn't actually speak about what design we were going to do or anything like that. But actually, if you just look at the nails side to side, we did such similar nails. We both did a marble, although mine's not very marbly. We both did a smile line and we both did like the ombre with a glittery S shape kind of thing on it, which is kind of weird. But yes, go check her videos out and let's get into it. So today I'm working on Bella and I'm just using the nails that she already comes with. I've just filed them slightly slimmer. I'm using Nail Nails' Max Adhesion, which I do find is quite dry, like slow drying. I'm using this yellow by Nail. It's very, very old. And I'm showing you here Mystic Amethyst and Disco Diva, but I actually ended up not using those. And instead I changed my mind and I just used this glittery one here. But yeah, let's just get into it. I'm also using Cameo, which is what you can see here. And it's just like, it's a very, very pale cover colour. I think it, it works well to use it for like um, French fade, but to use it as the white, because it's not as sharp of a white, but it's very, very pale. It is a nice colour though. I'm actually really liking it. This is the second set of nails I've done using this now. So yes, I'm liking it. And I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna do all the cameo first before I go in with anything else. And I will just let you guys watch. I'm not a professional. I'm not amazing at nails. I'm definitely getting better. I hope you will all agree. But yeah, I will just let you guys watch. Any tips you have, please do feel free to leave them below. And I'll be back in about a minute. So I'm just doing a smile line on here. I'm not good at doing smile lines. I noticed that Victoria does a lot of smile lines in her videos. They always look so good. I really like the look of a smile line. I've always really liked the look of like French nails, but I just, I'm really not good at doing them and they never look good. So I've kind of, I kind of decided, no, I'm not doing them anymore. But then I thought, you know what? whatever I'm just gonna try it and actually this one didn't turn out that bad it's probably one of the best ones that I've done but yeah I'm just going in and I'll let you guys watch this and then I will explain in a little bit where I went wrong but it still looked all right so yeah I'll let you guys decide anyways ha!
Okay guys, so the dreaded marble. This did not go well. It just looked, oh, I don't even know, it did not go well. If you guys remember, I tried to do a marble with the other nail green that I had. The, the powders are really, really old and I, I just think that they're really old and they're really not easy to work with. So I'm kind of blaming that a little bit, but yeah, it just didn't, it didn't go well. Like, it just didn't go very well. Um, it kind of looks marbly, but I think because the colours are so, like, they're quite similar as well, it also just didn't work very well. But never mind. So yeah, this is just a bit of a marble nail, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the glitter as well and add that on, but you guys will see, it didn't go that well. This glitter is really pretty by the way, but the, the label, because I bought these second hand, the label was all like worn off so I don't actually know what this one is called. By the way, I'm so sorry about the focus in this video, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm wondering if maybe I had my light too bright, <clears throat> but I, I think the brightness looks good, but I think maybe the light was too bright for the camera to deal with or something, I don't know. But there's definitely some focus struggling here. Everything is just being changed now anyway guys like I've completely moved salon so the salon is actually now been moved I probably should have done a video before I moved it but oh well never mind I will get a video up of the new salon but yeah hopefully I might be able to sort something, something out with this ridiculous recording I think I've got the angle right it's just now not focusing so there we go so yeah this is like a yellow ombre and then the next one is also a yellow ombre, but the opposite way around, as you can see there. I think this one looked a lot better, which is why I do actually end up leaving this as an ombre, like, on its own. I do think that this one, ma I managed to fade this one a little bit better, I guess. But I do find these pigmented, like, I don't know whether, I don't know what they are. Somebody said something about maybe it's a pigment. I think it's just a, like, coloured acrylic by Nail, but they are really, really old. They don't do this packaging anymore, I don't think. And I'm just wondering if they've just gone a bit out of date kind of thing and they just don't work that well anymore. So, yes. But anyway, it goes all right. I don't think it went that bad. This is where you will all be cringing and realizing I didn't file it. I forgot to file the shape for the smile line. Literally, as soon as I started putting the stuff on, I was like, I forgot to file. <laughs> but it was too late. I was already committed then, guys. I was already committed. So you know what? I just went in. I just carried on. And it, the shape was actually, luckily, the shape was kind of all right. It, this, it doesn't end up perfect, but it probably, it, I think it probably is one of the best ones I've ever done. Like I said, I just really do struggle with getting the smile line right. And I'm practicing, and I'm watching videos, and I'm doing the things that people say in the videos. But I think it's just getting the right thickness and things like that. But yeah, I'm getting better, so definitely practice makes perfect. So I wanted to add some glitter somewhere so I decided to do like an S swirl like shape kind of thing on this nail. The ombre kind of didn't go perfectly anyway so I was kind of like mm, I'll just put like a, gl a glitter swirl on it, it'll be fine. So yeah I just went in with this, I feel like this would be a really good glitter for Christmas. It's given, it is actually giving me Christmas vibes, that wasn't the plan. And I don't think it makes the look look Christmas here but if you just look at the glitter it's like reds and greens and golds and stuff. I'm gonna be using this at Christmas. Just so I tell you that. I know it's like summer and that. Well, nearly, kinda. But yeah, just out there. Put that out there. I'm gonna show up now. Going in with Clea, you 
using Nails Clear. Yeah, so I am using Nail Nails Clear and I'm just going to cap the nails. I think I capped them all apart from the smile one because that was already pretty much. Do you know what? I probably should have capped it. If this was on a person, I would have capped it. I can't remember if I even capped it. Maybe I did. It's not in this video though, so I'm guessing I didn't. So I'm going to cap the other three and I'll just let you watch that. Still not great at capping, not going to lie. Getting better, getting closer to the cuticle which somebody had said, you know, originally placed the bead closer to the cuticle and that definitely does work. So I would advise, like, that would be a tip from me that, yes, I think that that definitely has helped me with my cuticle application. Literally just go right up to the cuticle with it. Don't try and put it a bit further back like I was and then push it into the cuticle because it just doesn't really work. That's what I was doing before and I think, yeah. So whoever it was that mentioned that to me, thank you very, very much. I have taken it on board and it has helped. So thank you. So I then just went in and started filing. I just started on this one because I wanted to try and file it down to see if I could actually salvage the smile line. And yeah, like I said, I think it went alright. So you guys can decide when you see the end result. So I started filing this one. I don't show you the whole of the filing because I just think you guys don't need to see that. It's kind of boring. So yeah, I'm just going to file them. So I filed them, I buffed them, and then I did wipe over with acetone just to smooth it over a little bit. And then I'm just going to go over them all with my top coat. This is just my Colour Couture top coat that I'm trying to use up because I have lots of better ones, but I'm just trying to use this one up. And I go over them and then I cure them. And you would think that that was coming to the end of this video, but it isn't. It's actually not, because I'm going to do some more stuff afterwards. Yay! So this is just what they look like after the yellow. You could totally just leave them like this. I think it looks good. And actually, that's my line. I just thought it looked all right. But anyway, I'm going to go in with this, like, Pearl Effect Chrome Powder. I think that's what you would call it. So I'm basically just rubbing this all over. Now, I hadn't decided to do this originally. If I was going to do this before, I would probably say use a no wipe top coat. But I didn't. I just used a regular one. But that's because I kind of decided afterwards, oh, I know, let's apply some chrome. So yeah, this is just like a pearl effect. It changes the colour slightly, but you can still see like what you've done underneath. It doesn't completely cover it, which I really like. So yeah, I quite like the effect that went on there and then I go over that then with the top coat again.
And then I'm going to cure that, obviously, and then I will wipe over with the gel residue wipe off solution by Nail Nails, because that's the one that I always use at the moment. I think I have another one, but that's the one that I'm just using at the moment. So now I thought, you know what? Let's just get funky and go in with some diamondy, like, crystal things. So all of these that you're seeing here, you can get from my website, Idol Girl. I think some of it's in stock, some of it's not. But yeah, it's all available <laughs> at some point, hopefully. So yeah, I just sped this up lows because it, obviously it's pretty slow. I've kept it all in as well. So as you can see there, it kind of like, I tried to stick it on and it went wrong. It just takes some playing about when you're working with crystals. Also, I did realize like if you see this part now, it sticks on really, really quickly and easily like it just goes straight on. And I did realize that actually that's because of the shape. So the first one I tried to do is to, it's not really like touching the nail properly because of the shape of the nail, if that makes sense. So yeah. So I'm just going to go in with these tiny little ones just to like bling it up a bit. I just, I'm going to try and use crystals more in my videos because I just want to like bling it up a bit and everybody else always does it and they always look so good and I'm, I'm like too scared to do it, but yeah. So if anyone has any tips for sticking crystals on, I have thought about using a no, uh, a no wipe top coat and sticking them on what before curing but i don't know is that a better way do you, what do you guys think like would you rather use a glue or would you rather do it that way let me know please because i've never tried it the other way and i'm kind of scared to do so <laughs> so yes please don't forget to go check out nail perfections video links will be left down below her nails are amazing she's so talented i wish i could do nails like her maybe one day but make sure you go check her video out please do let me know what you think about these nails this is the finished result. I really do like them. I'm not a yellow person, but I do like the design. They could have gone better, but they went all right. So yeah, please leave me comments down below. I really do love hearing from you guys, and I definitely always take your advice on board. It's very helpful to me. So I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, this is Bella that we are working on today. Bella is available from my website, and I think I have one in stock right now. So you would be able to buy her right now. But yeah, you can always order and you will have her within a week or so. So yes, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will leave you with an actual face-to-face -face outro. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me some comments down below letting me know what you thought of it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you have hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I love you guys so, so much. Mwah! And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.